hello guys welcome back to simple or difficult it's kelechi here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to model molded roof fascia in revit okay i'm also going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to achieve these end details here and i'm going to be doing all this without the use of the model in place tool now the model in place tool is quite effective you know but as i've mentioned in my previous videos it's not bim friendly okay and we are trying as much as possible to get as much information as we can from our building models okay so our advice against using the model in place too i'm going to be showing you an effective alternative on how to achieve this properly okay so without wasting much time let's head into the video so here we have our building model the next thing we are going to do is to create our fascia for the roof so now we'll just go to the file tab here and go to new then click on family all right then we'll go to the english metric which is this okay then go down all the way to metric profile all right select metric profile and open so now we are going into the creating of families and this family template file that we just selected was specifically designed to create cross-sectional sweep profiles for those tools in Revit that functions or operates as sweeps. For instance, the wall sweeps, the gutters, the fascias, and so on. Now you can see in this view, there are two reference planes in display, okay? Now this is the only view that we can operate in and make whatsoever sketch we want to make relative to these reference planes. So for this exercise, I'll be showing you how to create these profiles, okay? And how to apply them to our model to achieve our desired result, all right so now we are going to create two profiles one for the roof fascia and one for the wall sweep okay now i'll explain why i'm doing it this way it's not complicated at all okay you understand it as we proceed just follow me closely so we'll come to our create tab here okay and we'll click on line all right we are creating the roof fascia first Alright, so we'll just come here to our rectangle tool and from the midpoint here, from this intersection, all the way to the left bottom quadrant, we'll just drag this, we'll create a rectangle of 600 millimeters width, okay, and also 600 millimeters depth. Now, this is because our roof overhang is 600 millimeters in width in distance. Okay, now we'll select our line tool and just elaborate on the sketch a little bit more. This is our mirror tool. We can just mirror this. Okay. Then using the line tool as well again. We just use the fillet tool and create an arc. This is just an example. If you have any other type of sketch in mind, you can just simply use that as well. This is just an example, okay? Alright, so there is our shape. Okay, just as I've said, this is for the roof fascia. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is to specify this profile for the roof fascia. Alright, so how we are going to do that is by coming here to the properties palette. Okay, under this profile usage field. Okay, we'll just click the drop down. Right now it's on generic, but we can put it under fascia. Okay, so when we do this, it has specified this particular profile to fascia. So now, before we load into project, we just save as. So when we click on the file tab, we'll go to save as and we'll go to family. Okay. Then we'll save it as fascia roof. Okay. We'll just save it as fascia roof. Then we'll load into a project. Okay. Then we're going to go back to that family editor. All right, then window select the sketch. Then we'll move over here to our move tool and select the move tool. 
then we'll pick the endpoint of this profile here okay then we'll drag it all the way and drop it at that middle intersection all right so now this is for the wall sweep the difference between two of them is the reference points okay the reference points are different the point of application on the project are different you get to understand this better when i load it into the project okay so now next step is to save as but before we do that we'll come to the properties palette here then click or our drop down and we'll look for wall sweep we'll click on wall sweep now we have specified it to wall sweep then we can save as okay let's save as family then we will rename it Fisher Wall. Okay. All right. So we we'll just load it into project. Now the first thing we are going to do is to create our roof fissure. Okay. So now we'll come here to roof. All right. Then go to roof fissure. Then go to the properties palette here and click on edit type. All right, so we'll just duplicate our fissure. Okay, I'll rename it roof fissure. Okay, then we come here to our profile. Then go down and look for our profile that we just created for the roof. Okay, now you can see there is fissure roof here. That is the profile that we created for the roof fissure. Okay, so we'll just select fissure roof and the material you can change the material using this field here okay some plaster white so is good okay so we'll just click on okay then we'll proceed and draw our sketch okay so we'll just come here to this point and click okay like i said this is the point of application that is why i used the end okay of that particular profile sketch then we'll come here to this other edge and click okay now we can see that this is busting out what we'll just do is we'll select the fascia okay then we'll click on modify metering then when we do this we'll click on horizontal then come to the end here and click on the end okay We'll do the same for this end as well click on the end perfect we'll just escape so the next thing we'll do is to create our wall sweep so we'll head over here to walls and click the drop down then we'll select wall sweep then in the properties palette we'll click the edit type button then we'll duplicate we'll rename it to wall fascia okay then under the profile we we'll click the drop down then we we'll look for the profile that we created for the wall sweep okay that is the official wall then we'll click ok all right so we'll go ahead and start applying our wall sweep okay so we'll just come to this wall not the roof anymore we're using the wall as a reference point now no specific edge just the wall surface we'll just click on it so now we'll go to the elevation view preferably the south elevation view okay then we'll click the wall sweep then we'll use the move tool okay to just adjust it all right so we can also drive this end here to stop at this wall so now we'll go back to the 3d view okay then the next step is to click on the wall sweep we'll then use add and remove walls okay we'll just continue like that and create our fascia we just pick the walls without restarting the sweep just one constant sweep we can drag this all the way to the end Just click to add everywhere and we'll continue from there. Just click the walls and apply there.
All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to select the profile. Then we'll use selection box, okay? Then we'll just see exactly what we have done, okay? And we can just correct it. Now, due to the fact that we are using walls, so of them will extend to the length of the walls that they are attached to, okay? Even if we don't really want it to extend that long. Okay, so what we'll just do to solve this is to drag the end segments, okay? And place it here. We'll just join them properly and hide the loop. Okay, just joining them properly. Alright, so. I guarantee you this is totally worth it at the end. Okay. So we'll just do it like this. Alright, it's also all the points to meet at the angle. Alright, so we'll just unhide our roof and we'll uncheck our section box. So now for the end facial detail here, we are going to model it in a unique way, okay? So we we'll just drag this to the end first, okay? Then I'll go ahead and create a new wall sweep. Now I'll do this by clicking on create similar, okay? Alright, so I'll just create a new sweep and place it in line with the one that is there already. So we'll just flip this and we'll just drag it all the way to this side, maybe to, let's say, 600. Okay. So we are going to create another fissure by clicking on create similar steel and coming to this point here and just clicking the wall. Okay. Now a one in will come out here, you can just click OK. All right. So we'll just drag this all the way to 600. Now we can notice that at this point here, although it's in line with the fascia, due to the shape of the profile, we have a problem here. Here will be open. Now, the way I usually resolve this issue is by modifying the shape of that profile, the sketch of the profile, okay? So we'll just go back to our family editor. Then we will modify the shape of this fascia, okay? So we'll just go to create, go to line, then we'll just extend this line then close it can use our trim tool and remove that intersecting line all right so now on the properties palette we we'll specify it to be wall sweep okay then we're going to save us okay we we'll save us family then we will rename it a different name from the one we have before let's say Fisher wall two. Okay, we'll save that. Then we're going to load this into project. All right. So now we have loaded it into the project. I want to go to our 3D view. We we'll select these two separate sweeps. Okay. Then we'll go to edit type. Then we'll duplicate. Then we'll create a new fascia. Okay. Then we'll go to the profile. And look for facial wall 2. The material still remains the same. Then we'll click OK. Now you can see that it has closed this opening. It has closed that place that we had a problem with. Alright. Now we have to close this end of the fascia itself. And how I do this is by selecting it and using modified returns. Now, when we click on the edge of this fascia, it will close this part of the fascia but due to the fact that it's a different fascia now it will open this one up too so we'll just go ahead and close this as well then use the join tool to join it with this one now we can see it's so clean we'll do the same for this other side okay we'll select it then use modified returns on each end 
okay then using the join tool we'll just join it all right so that's perfect so now you can see how we can create roof fascia by using the wall sweep and the roof fascia and if you select any of these we can see that it has information here that you can extract you can also do a lot with it during your scheduling and quantifying so that is my preferred method of modeling molded roof fascia all right guys that brings us to the end of this video if you enjoyed it or learned from it please give us a like and if you are new here do well to subscribe we post tutorial videos like this every week and very interesting architectural contents as well okay and also don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss any of our weekly videos just like this one thank you so much for watching see you in the next video